Hello everybody. So I thought I'd show you this new booklet that I purchased the other day and I it's been sitting here. I haven't done anything with it and I really it's gorgeous, gorgeous. It is um, kind of a traveler's notebook insert size and it is by designsbyplannerperfect.com and I'll put the link below. But she does these beautiful, um, oops, I did an art journal before this. I've still got the ink on my hand. She does these beautiful um, paintings, artwork on her on her booklets that she sells. This one's called the wardrobe one. I think she might also call it an errand book. I'm not really sure. But here's what the cover looks like. Inside it says, dress like you're already famous. I thought that was cute. The paper is just really nice, really nice paper. I did some pen testing in the very back, and I'll show you that. Of course, Copics go all the way through. Um, Sharpie Ultra Fines and Sharpie Fines go pretty much go through. But look at the rest of that stuff. There's a little bit of shadowing. So I use, this is a Jane Davenport watercolor pen. This is a Tombow, one of the dual side, you know, with the brush, the watercolor. Inkjoy, Sarasa, which, which really bleeds through on a lot of my paper. Paper Mate Flare, Le Pen, Friction, and a Mild Liner. And you can see, you can see them a little bit, but really not, not too bad at all. So what I'm using this for is I've got some activities coming up. Well, first of all, I've been losing weight. And um, I switched, I know I've mentioned I switched to a plant-based um, diet. I've been making an effort to be more active. I'm doing a squat challenge this month with, a, with my best friend. And then um, next month we're going to do some other kind of fitness challenge. But just something to keep us kind of accountable to move every day. So um, what I'm going to use this for is to be more intentional as I add to my wardrobe, as I buy new things and get excited about fitting into smaller sizes again. Um, I want to make sure I'm adding quality things and things that are going to last and things that are going to go with what else I already have and not just, you know, picking up a junky t-shirt at Walmart, you know what I mean. And also I have some vacations that I'm going on in um, September. I've got two trips. One is a pinners conference in Arlington and my friend Linda's going to fly in and uh, with her stepdaughter and then I'm going to, one of my daughters is going to go also. And we're going to, the four of us are going to um, go to that together, which is really exciting. And then I have um, a Fun Stampers Journey get together in September also. I have a cruise with another dear friend in November, five-day cruise to Mexico. And then next February, I have a cruise with my husband to the Bahamas. And we've got a balcony room. And this is our second cruise where we've got a balcony room. I'm really excited about it. But anyway, I want to kind of plan out what I'm going to bring on those for those trips. So the first one I thought that I would work on is I'm just going to go kind of midway in here because it's not till November and I'm going to kind of fix up a cover page to keep track of what I'm bringing on the cruise in November. So I'm putting wax paper in here just because I don't want to wet, you know, more than I want to as I'm doing the watercolor. I don't know if it'll bleed through or not. We're going to find out, but I've got the wax paper here just in case. And I found this stencil that my mother gave me, and she's probably had it forever. I don't know what company it came from, but it's got some little waves and some fish, and I love this right here. I thought this would be perfect to kind of write cruise wear or cruise wardrobe or something like that in there. Okay, so let me get started here. Oh, I've got some watercolors, and I think these are just some cheapy ones from um, Michael's that they always have on sale. And what else? And some paint brushes, some water, paper towels, you know, the usual, usual. So let's see what I've got going on here. Let's wet this thing and let's get some of this lighter blue going. And down here. And I'm just going to kind of get some different colors of blue and see if we can kind of get a wave effect going down here on this page. I just thought it would make this super fun. Do a little darker up where the caps of the waves are. If I had kind of a cool page to, um, title page to everything I'm doing. So, and for some reason my computer keeps giving me these weird messages that I need to um, shut it down and restart. And I hope that's not gonna mess up this video. Let me get a lighter color going through here. I don't 
messed up that wave look I've got going on. And as you could tell, I'm not an artist. I'm just kind of playing around here, seeing what I can accomplish. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Got some waves. And let's see. Let's do some more like this. Maybe something darker. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna get my get the towel, kind of wipe this off a little bit, so I'm not dragging the blue up to the top there. And let's see how this looks. It's damp, so I don't want to wet everything. So, okay, so let us put this box up here in the top, and it's got kind of a sunshine on one side and a star on the other. Let me see, I think I want the sunshine in there more than the star, because it doesn't quite fit. Okay, let's get that blue off there. And you notice that was an afterthought. I almost just came right in with the orange and yellow <laughs> without switching out, the, getting that blue off my brush. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I may have this too wet. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. One more color. Okay, before I look that up, I'm going to take, um, let's see, what color do I want to do? Maybe this green is very pretty. Let's just get some of that green going there and kind of give myself a line around here. Just a messy kind of watercolor look to this box. looks like. Okay, let's look this up. Oh, I kind of like the way that looks. It's kind of fun. Okay, so then what I'm planning on doing in that little box is just writing Cruise Wardrobe. And let's see, do we want to come back down here as this is drying and put some fish in here? Yes, let's do that. Let's do some fish in a much darker color. Um, let's try this. Let's see how they look. Just getting some little fishes in here. Uh oh, that bled underneath. I can see too much water on that. Okay, so I've got some very fuzzy watercolored fish, but they look pretty cool. Oh, and I added, I got this. Okay. Let's see if we can kind of do something like this. Oh, maybe some light blue. Get back in here. Kind of do a skyline looking thing. a wash where I got that yellow where I didn't intend to. Okay. And I'm going to leave this like this. So here is my cover page to my cruise wardrobe. And I'll let you know how it goes keeping track. What I'm planning on doing is um, having some pictures that I cut out and some ideas of you know, bathing suits and evening wear. There's always one formal night on a cruise and different things I'm planning on taking. So once this is dry, I'm gonna start my lit, like a packing list here and then some pr cute pictures and ideas of what I want. And maybe as I buy things, I'll take some photos of that, maybe with my little um, Instax camera and add those in there too. So I'm really looking forward to getting the most out of this book and, and using it for planning, planning out my trips. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and happy crafting.